the New York Attorney General's probe concluded yesterday, and it concluded that Governor Andrew Cuomo did, in fact, sexually harass multiple women from 2013 to 2020. New York Attorney General Letitia James noting that Cuomo also created a toxic work environment. A growing number of politicians, including President Biden, are now calling on Andrew Cuomo to resign from the governorship. Joining me right now is the attorney for two of Governor Cuomo's accusers, uh, a partner at Kuti Hecker Wong, LLP. Marianne Wong is with us. Marianne, thanks very much for being here this morning. Uh, tell me what your clients are charging. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, my two clients, Alyssa McGrath and Virginia Lemiatis, were subjected to uh, really humiliating and debasing conduct by Governor Cuomo, which the AG's report found was really quite pervasive. Um, Eleven women uh, came forward courageously and shared their stories of his. Uh, it wasn't simply gentlemanly or you know old man conduct. It was really. Um, debasing and humiliating. He grabbed women's buttocks. He grabbed breasts. He uh, made comments all the time. Um, Alyssa McGrath, who still works uh, in that office, uh, was subjected to, you know, having him look down her shirt, uh, making all sorts of per very deeply personal comments and questions about her personal life that she did not invite and didn't want to uh, participate in. Um, my other client, Virginia Lemiatis, back in 2017, was at a work event. She was not working for the state, but she was at a work event. And um, he, as she reached out to shake his hand, he uh, looked at her and leaned in and actually put his finger across her uh, across her breasts. And the name of her company was on her T-shirt. And he made a remark and uh, and then pretended to be doing something else um, again just flabbergasted, beside herself, not sure how to handle it, not sure what just happened, but fundamentally just very deeply ashamed and embarrassed um, as to why the head of the government, somebody in such enorm with such enormous power, is engaging in this kind of uh, conduct. That's just extraordinary. What, what, everything you just said is, is so upsetting. Look, we know that Governor Cuomo is pushing back. He actually released a video last night after the report came out. Let's take a look on and, and, and give him his voice here and get your reaction. Watch this. I've been making the same gesture in public all my life. I actually learned it from my mother and from my father. It is meant to convey warmth. Nothing more. Indeed, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of photos of me using the exact same gesture. I do it with everyone, black and white, young and old, straight and LGBTQ, powerful people, friends, strangers, people who I meet on the street. What do you think about his answer to this, Marianne? I think it's insulting. It's insulting to the women who worked with and for him, and it's insulting to New Yorkers. Uh, the women who are going to work and there to contribute professionally are not little children. They're adults. They know perfectly well how and uh, how they were touched. And as the AG report went through so thoroughly, these touchings and moments were not simply kisses on the cheek. They involved him you know, putting his hand down the, from the neck down the spine of a state trooper as he stood behind her on the elevator, uh, grazing her stomach, uh, you know, as I said earlier, grabbing a breast, um, touching the, the chest of my client, uh, grabbing buttocks uh, repeatedly, multiple women. This is not um, a casual, kindly affection. It is uh, insulting to suggest it. It's insulting to say that the women misunderstood anything. They're adults. They know perfectly well what they experienced, uh, this unwanted sexual touching. And I believe he knew exactly what he was doing as well. Well, it's just such extraordinary uh, narrative, particularly uh, about a person who's running the state, the most important 
leader in the state. Uh, obviously, if you are an underling, uh, you, you're intimidated. These women are much younger than him as well. So following the probe's findings, Marianne, do you anticipate the governor will face impeachment or even civil or criminal charges here? I mean, Letitia James said that these, these are civil, but what are you expecting in terms of how this plays out? Is there a chance he can dig in and stay where he is? Because that seems to be what he's expecting. Yeah, it, w it will be interesting. I mean, my clients are very hopeful based on the reactions yesterday to the AG report. I think the the wonderful thing about the report is not just that they took these 11 women's allegations very seriously, but they followed the evidence and really thoroughly vetted it. So it wasn't just speaking to these 11 women. It was speaking to hundreds of witnesses, thousands and thousands of pages of documents. My own clients presented and had um, and told them about witnesses, gave uh, uh, emails and texts, all those things that really corroborated what they said. And so what I think has to be done now is that the people who are responsible, including um, the voters, have to look carefully at the evidence and uh, let that lead where where it where it should, which is that there should be repercussions for him. Whether it's criminal, civil, or impeachment remains a little bit to, unseen, uh, although yesterday um, the Assembly Speaker also said that uh, impeachment proceedings will proceed quite quickly. So I believe that will, um, it appears at this point that that will be on the horizon. And of course, uh, Mary, if Governor Cuomo move? were to actually take responsibility, he could actually just uh, resign, which is what he really should be doing. At this point, we are really waiting to see what's going to happen, the fallout from the report. Um, our clients, my clients are very grateful uh, for what the AG has done. It's a really uh, it's such a detailed and thorough report. And uh, really, they felt heard and they felt that uh, they were respected in the process. Well, look, our thoughts are with your clients and the others. Uh, Thank you. Nobody should have to face such treatment ever. Marion Wong, thanks very much for being here and sharing this with us. Thank we will continue to keep a spotlight on it, of course.